In this video, I'm going to explain how to add a talking animated avatar from SitePal, like the one shown here. Hi there! If you have created a bot on Pandora Bots, it's very simple to get started with SitePal avatars. Go to your bot's control page and select the option to add an animated character with an Oddcast vHost face. You can select one of the four demo faces, select its height, language, and voice, and then update your vhost settings. Now the published link for the bot includes a special string to indicate that this bot uses an Oddcast vhost. Pandora Bots creates a simple web page which includes the vhost avatar. Hello. Hi there. You are cool. Thanks, I think you're cool too. To get a more customized avatar, return to the Oddcast vhost page and scroll down. You'll see an option to buy a talking animated avatar from Oddcast. Click on that link and you'll arrive at the Oddcast store. Please select one of these plans. And remember, buying an annual account is the best value. You get two months absolutely free. SitePal offers several choices of plans, and we recommend the vHost SitePal One Year Account Pandora Bots Edition for $119.50. Select and purchase that account. After you have purchased your SitePal account, you can go to the SitePal.com website and log in. Use your SitePal user ID and password to log into SitePal. Remember, your SitePal account may be different than your Pandora Bots account. Your SitePal account displays all the characters you've created so far. Select the character you want to edit by clicking on its icon. Welcome to the SitePal editor. With our new editor, it's easier than ever to create your own speaking character to personalize your web page, improve communications, and drive sales. Click the Let's Start button to follow our easy step-by-step -step process for making characters. Ready? Using the SitePal character editor, we can change the character, select different accessories, such as hairstyle, glass frames, clothing, headgear, facial hair, and you can select the mouth. When you're finished modifying the character, simply click on Save Scene. Once you have purchased your vHost account and created your customized characters there, you can view them on Pandora Bots. Select the Oddcast vHost option, and now Pandora Bots displays all of the custom characters you have created on SitePal. You can now select one of those characters, choose its voice, and update your vHost settings. Now when we view the default web page created by Pandora Bots. Your subscription to the Claudio personality test includes one month of unlimited chat with the bot. Pandora Bots creates a default web page for your bot, which now includes your custom character. It also includes a Google ad, and you may wish to customize the appearance of your web page, for example, removing the Google ad and creating a more custom appearance for the chat interaction. Pandora Bots provides four special tags for use in custom HTML to support SitePal avatars. Let's create a custom HTML view for our bot. We're going to use a frame so that the bot doesn't reload the avatar with each interaction. First, let's look at the HTML needed to display the avatar. We've created a file called vhostclaudio.html. When we look at that file, it's very simple. Tag called vhost. The special Pandora Bots vhost tags are indicated by the surrounding exclamation points. If we view the contents of that file, we can see that it displays the vhost avatar. Let's look at the page source of this frame. The vhost tag has expanded into a collection of JavaScript code. The special Pandora Bot SitePal tags allows the bot master to ignore the details of the JavaScript interface between Pandora Bots and the SitePal avatar. Now let's take a look at the web page in which we're going to embed the SitePal avatar. It uses a frame set. The frame set consists of two frames, one of which is our vhost Claudio file, and the other is called input Claudio. The second special Pandora Bot SitePal tag called 
talk graph allows the bot master to reference the HTML frames uh, without having to spell out all the details of the Pandora bot's URL for that bot. Finally, let's take a look at the HTML file we use to input text to the bot and display its response. That file is called inputclaudio.html. The important thing to note here, this file uses a custom Pandora bot's vhost tag called speak. The speak tag simply tells the bot to transmit its reply to the avatar so that it can be spoken out loud. Inside the form where the text is submitted to the bot, we see the custom vhost tag cust ID. The cust ID tag simply keeps track of the customer's identity from one interaction to the next so that the customer can experience the illusion of a continuous conversation. Finally, we need to be sure that the default HTML page for this bot is the frame, and we'll save our changes. Now the avatar appears in the top frame and the chat interaction form appears in the lower frame. This concludes our basic introduction to embedding SitePal avatars in Pandora bots. Goodbye.